Hi guys! So I thought I would go ahead and do my birth story today. I know this is kind of like an awkward place for me to film, but I've just got the baby here right next to me and so, um, and all the other kids are at school, so I thought it's quiet. So I thought I would go ahead and do this really quick because he is almost seven weeks old. And actually he is seven weeks old today. He is seven weeks old, holy crap. Anyway, so he's, yeah, so he's a month and a half old, so I figured I should probably get this birth video up because I've had some people asking me to do it and I haven't, so here it is. So his birth story goes like this. If you follow, have been following my channel, you know that my due date with him was August 9th and I just knew that I was not gonna go to my due date. I've only went over my due date with one of my babies, so. Um, anyway, my four-year-old daughter's birthday is July 23rd and back a couple months ago I was kidding around with her saying Miles is gonna come on your birthday you know that right he's gonna come like on your birthday you guys are gonna have the same birthday and um, she laughed and was like yeah I know cuz Hims loves me <laughs> and so I was like yeah he's gonna come on your birthday he's gonna be your birthday present and um and then we just kind of joked around about it and I never really said anything about it again. Well, fast forward to um, the week of her birthday. That Monday, her birthday was on Thursday. I had a midwife appointment the Monday before. Went in, um, found out that he was laying sideways in my belly. So his left, or so his head was on my left side and his bum, his back went across the top and his bum was on my right side and then his knees, his legs and knees and feet were curled up down at the bottom. Well, you can't have a baby that way, it can't come out that way. So, and my blood pressure was kind of starting to get a little high. So my midwife was like, you know what? Um, don't mind my cat right there. <laughs> she's like, you know what? With your blood pressure kind of creeping up and she's like, you're 37 weeks. She's like, let's just go ahead and schedule you to come in next Monday at the hospital to have an inversion done where they manually turn the baby. She's like, and then when we turn him and get him head down and we break your water, so they stay there, there's not enough room to wiggle around, and then we start your labor. So I was kind of freaking out about this a little bit, but I was like, okay, let's just, let's do this. So I went home that week and then I started doing some of the like spinning babies exercises to try to get them to turn and um, I was going to the chiropractor to open my pelvis to make room anyway so that Thursday comes which was my daughter's birthday and I woke up and I was that morning and I had been having like irregular contractions and um, just kind of felt like maybe I was the, in the beginning stages of labor and anyway so I went in to my midwife's office because I had an NST that day went in for that found out he was still sideways and um, oh and I had a chiropractor appointment that day as well so my mom went with me and we went to the chiropractor and then went over to my midwife's appointment and had the NST done found out he was still sideways my blood pressure was high so she told me she's like you know what you need to go over to the hospital right now and have this baby and I looked at her and I was like what are you kidding me I was like, it's my daughter's birthday. I'm like, we're having a birthday party for her that's gonna be starting in just a couple hours at home. I'm like, I can't miss that. And she's like, well, your health and the baby's health is the most important thing right now. And so I started crying and bawling and she gave me this hug and she's like, it's gonna be okay. Emma's not gonna love you any less. If you're not there, she's probably gonna have so much fun that she won't even realize. And I was like, you know what, you're probably right. <laughs> so um, I called home and told my daughter who's 18, um, and she's like, you know what, mom, it's okay. I got it under control. I'll do finish the party. It'll be okay. And then you just go take care of you and Miles and we'll handle it here. So my older kids stayed home and helped with the party, got that done. And then um, while I was at the hospital, I called my husband at work and I was like, they're sending me over to have this baby right now. You have to come home. So luckily I had already packed um, the hospital bags. And so all he had to do was hurry and jet home and grab the bags and come over. And that's what he did. So I got to the hospital and I, my contractions were kind of picking up a little bit more. And oh, and at my midwife appointment, they had checked my dilation and I was four centimeters dilated and 80% effaced. So um, we got to the hospital, they um, set me up for the version. The doctor came in, 
because it was an OB and midwives can't do it. So the OB came in and did the manual turn, got him to turn and broke my water so that he was set in the right position. And then they gave me, started giving me a little bit of Pitocin and that just really like jump started it. It just like flew off. It just took off, boom. And I just, I went from four to 10 in like an hour and a half. And they, they had to give me antibiotics because I had tested positive for the group B. So they hurried and administered those quickly as they could because um, they knew it was going to go fast. And I also had to be put on magnesium, which is awful. So terrible, awful. If you've ever been put on magnesium, it makes you feel horrible and nauseous. And so I was on that for 24 hours. I was so glad when I got off of that. And so after an hour and a half and not much pushing, he was born. I only had a couple stitches I had to have. He was born 6.43 p.m. And he weighed seven pounds, two ounces, and he was 18 inches long of just perfect baby boy cuteness. And I, I just couldn't believe that here I woke up that morning thinking I was just gonna go to the chiropractor and come home and have my four year old's birthday to ending the day with another baby being born on July 23rd. <laughs> so, and it was so cute because all the kids came, you know, after he was born and I guess Emma had got like a fairy, um, like a fairy dress up set for her birthday so she comes bouncing in with like these fairy wings on and a wand and a crown and she was like where's my baby she's like he's my present because it's my birthday and so she thought that was really cool because she really literally thought that he was her present to her on her birthday so um right now she's loving it she's loving having the same birthday but i'm sure you know when they get older that's gonna change so um we'll have to try to figure out something when they get older so they can each have their own special celebration but for right now she's just loving it and I just think it's crazy I never thought that I'd have two kids with the same birthday <laughs> but anyway yeah so everything was good and we stayed there for our full 48 hours I just like to stay there even though I start getting stir crazy I just like to you know stay for the full 48 hours and then you know be discharged and that's what we did and um, I'm just so thankful that he's here and everything went well and that he's healthy. He's been such a sweet, amazing little boy and I could not have asked for you know anything better. And I just feel so blessed and honored to be his mom. And I'm just so happy he's here. And um, I will do a birth video, but I'll probably have to do that after we come back from our trip because we leave in just a couple days so I don't have time to do that but I will 